Hey beauty bees, what's up? Okay, today I was literally just sitting in my room and I've been doing schoolwork and at work all week and I went a little break. So I was watching YouTube and I was like, I ran into this challenge, this, um, I gotta read it, I forgot what it was. Like trying to follow the tutorial of Blankety Blank's makeup tutorial. I want to try it. So, I was stuck between Nikki Tutorials and Auntie Jackie. And I had to pick Auntie Jackie because, you know, the hair. I wanted the video to be good, so I was like, I don't have blonde hair, so I'm not going to do Nikki Tutorials. So, I had to do Auntie Jackie. And I had to pick a video. A rare video where she has dark hair like this and it's curly and it was one of her recent videos actually it's her getting glam for no reason makeup and that's kind of perfect because I'm literally doing this for no reason like I'm getting glam for no reason right now let's just get started y'all if you want to check out if I got the makeup look right keep on watching Hi guys, it's your girl Jackie O. Welcome back to my channel. Jackie, 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 I was totally inspired by a young lady that follows me on Twitter. I'm gonna shout her out real quick because she had this really cute galaxy inspired look, girl. Lindsay, aka Keep Our Faith on Twitter. And I just felt like doing something fun and colorful. So shout out to you, Lindsay girl, because your look was really popping. We're not gonna do the exact same thing. I'm tweaking a little bit. Okay, so this is a sponsored video that I'm watching, but scratch that. I don't have any Olay products, so I won't be using any Olay. And this is most likely going to be a drugstore version of her video because we know Jackie is a little bougie. <laughs> she likes her YSL, her Lancomes, and all that. And guess what? I don't have those. Okay, so we're just going to do a little drugstore version, but we're going to get the look. Okay, we're going to get the look. We're judging and we're coming for all of you. Full, full spackle coverage. This is the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream good. Cover. I'm borderline obsessed with Danessa Myricks' Instagram, okay? Just everything is flawless. The foundation I'm going to use is Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. Okay, 24 hour full coverage foundation. That's what I'm gonna use. It's like full, full coverage. It's like as close to a pure pigment as it gets. I'm starting off with about one and a half pumps and- I said one and a half pumps. I think I'll be Gucci with just that. The product spreads out really nicely. You she uses very little foundation. Because like I said, it's, like, it's almost like a pure pigment. It is a pretty yellow golden formula, but it will adjust as I finish out my makeup routine. This is not my final form. I'm going to contour using the Radiant Creamy Concealer contour. from Noors. Noors. We're gonna do something cute. Oh my God. Uh, and trying to really give you some sculptualization. That's just something I've been doing lately. Having contour. Contour. Contour is fun. Here for the weekend. For under my eyes, I'm gonna double conceal. Oh, first okay. Using the ColourPop. We gotta pause. We gotta pause because I'm still putting on my foundation and she's about to highlight. And this is a completely different order than I usually do my makeup. So this is weird. Yeah, that one and a half pump don't work for me. I'm sorry. I gotta. I did the other half. So I did two pumps. Uh, oh, it's in my hair. Okay. I'm going to take Nyx's HD Concealer in the color oh. Nutmeg and kind of oh. moisturize it up. ColourPop's concealer is a little on the dry mat. Okay, so we had to put a complete pause again. So now we're going to we're gonna contour using our Espresso Fenty Beauty Stick. Because she uses a stick to contour. She cream contours. I gotta rewind because I actually don't. I missed it. Oh, she goes like this. Um, my face is not long like her, so I'm not gonna go too ham with that shape that she just did. Okay, and then she this frontal cut off half of my my uh forehead, so 
let's do that you guys this is so hard like oh i found it deep golden i have exactly what she's using what she used so she said she's using this and a nyx one i don't have that so i'm gonna go in with my Too faced born this way because she said this is a little dry so i'm gonna go with this one to make it a little more moist all right we're gonna press play after i put the highlight oh i just rewinded it so for under my eyes i'm gonna double conceal first using the ColourPop no filter concealer in the color okay. golden and then I'm first gonna take this one. nyx's hd concealer in the color nutmeg and kind of Moisturize it up. Worn this way in the color deep the tan. Side. And this is deep gold. Went to my face by really kind of going outward with those concealer highlights. There. Then I like to blend my contour out first with a brush. And then I booty blend the concealer and everything up later after that. I just like using the brush first. Do you know my neighbors? I actually don't know if she. Even well, I, I hear a lot of radiant creamy concealer comparisons for this concealer and it's not at all like that it's very wet it's a lot more like the the smashbox studio skin another wonderful concealer not very many shades though so if you want something similar just go for the one that makes me really good as i'm blending on my concealer i'm going to go up and around into my eyelid to prep the lids for the shadows we're going to be adding okay she's already on okay Nope, we gotta pause. Jeez. Okay, so she used the brush to blend out the conceal. I mean the contour. She says she goes in with this first. Wow, I don't ever do this. She goes in with this first, and then she uses the beauty blender to blend. Oh. Hmm. Oh, Jackie. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of nice. Okay. <gasps> okay, Auntie. Real Techniques blending sponge. She says she blends out her her highlight, and she puts it all over her eyelid, which I do. I do that already, so that's not very different, guys. This is hard, for real. I don't even want to press play. I'm kind of scared. Ooh, I'm looking a little ashy now. Mm. Mm. You're going to make me skip powder, Danessa. But I'm not going to do that because I would probably get my channel deactivated if you saw what I looked like if I did not wear any powder at all. Another product from Danessa, her Evolution Powder. This is in the color number two. It's like a off beigey color. So as you can see, it looks like that. And I'm going to use that to set under eye and the middle of the face. Okay, I'm going to use Sasha Buttercup. sponge and Dear, dear, a lot, and then go right in. You don't want to add too much powder though because you don't want it to get stuffed. So don't put too much because so creamy and so soft. Uh, I didn't see her do that to her eyes. I'm not going to get them smile lines. And then she said, "Do the clown face." They're actually done this. Settling inside those smile lines. For this. Jackie, I'm learning a lot here. Let's see if this works. Alright, I'm not even gonna lie. I go in around my mouth. I do. Because I talk, I smile, I laugh, I cry, you know. Um I talk crap. This is where the most movement is, so it just things just break up real fast. I'm just putting a little bit of extra, but I'm not pushing it into my skin because I want some shadow catcher for later. Then I fill up my brows with the Anastasia brow pencil in dark brown. That technique hasn't really changed, like ever, so I figured why don't we just skip it? Oh, this is such a stunning palette. I feel like this is my second time using it. It's the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Lila? Lila? Girl, where you at? Which one? This has plenty of pigment for my brown girls. So I'm gonna take this color here. So this color we're gonna sweep into our crease. All you need is literally to tap in because the pigment is out of this world. But honestly, this is what my chocolate skin needs. It's the closest push. color I have to what she's using. The colors. Now, in order to gain more control of those colors, I'm tapping the color on first and then sweeping just a little bit though. 
So much color, so much pigment. I'm gonna top off my eyelid with a bit of a Too Faced glitter glue primer. And basically just sweep that over the lid. Cause you know, sometimes when cruise colors- Oh sis, you are moving. We want the lid colors to be nice. Whoa, when did she do her eyebrows? This shade from the palette is almost perfect. Okay. It's like a Tone purple. Gonna pop that right on. Okay. Look at the color. Okay, we're gonna have to stop. Look. We're gonna have to pause. We're gonna have to pause. 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 We're gonna have to rewind. She didn't do her brows on camera. You know where that puts me? That makes me lost. I am lost in the world right now, like Kanye, okay? She didn't do her eyebrows on camera. And I don't know how to do my eyebrows without. I mean, with makeup on, like already. Here goes nothing. I'm just gonna wing this part because it's not in the video, that's for sure. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to clean it up a bit under there. This is literally my own part of the tutorial. Okay, let's resume back to you, Auntie. I'm gonna top off my eyelid with a bit of a Too Faced glitter glue primer. And basically just sweep that over the lids. Cause you know, sometimes- Okay. We're gonna do NYX. We want the lid colors to be Nyx. nice and vibrant and popping. This shade from the palette is almost perfect because it's like a blue tone purple. I'm gonna okay. pop that right onto, look at the color. Look at the color. Pause. Susan! Is her right here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that in our masquerade palette, Makita. <sighs> okay. Look at that. Look, Jackie, I can do it too. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, Susan! Do people realize that looks like one swipe though? And fill in all over oh. your lips. Such okay, a it freaking stunning color. Then using my blending brush, I'm blending a little bit of that purple into my crease. She is real cute. Let's take her Sis, and wait. a pencil brush. Sis, wait. Okay. You don't pay for Okay, Sis, wait. Sis, wait. Okay, Dennis, keep talking now. Keep talking, Dennis. Maybe you do. What time are you going? You better make that chicken real good to make up for it, too. Oh, sorry. Before we do that, before we do that, what you got to do is take the purple first and hit that bottom lash line. But I do feel like my bottom lash line goes literally is my life. They just get lost into my eyelashes. Like, I feel like you can't even see all the detail I'll be putting down here. So yeah, do the purple, do the dark purple first along your bottom lash line. And then the purple is surrounded with that pinkier fuchsia color. So go around it on the outer corners. Wow, this is looking a hot mess. Wow, this is really hard. That kind of a purple right here. It's not that dark, but you said put it in the crease, fill it in the crease. She said put it, put it. She's moving, bro. Okay, she said under. You gotta blend that out a little because I can't look at this. I don't know what you guys are seeing, but on the monitor, this looks absolutely terrible. Okay, we're going to get a lip liner from ColourPop, and it's in the color leather. I'm in shambles right now, y'all. And she says she lined her eye. How am I even going to do the other eye if I'm in shambles like this? We almost done though. Tear duct color. I'm gonna use this one from the palette. This is so pretty. I love purple. Purple is just so pretty. So for the Hypnosis. purposes of the original look, I don't have. Going to the tear duct with the purple, a lilac color. Yeah. I don't have any big glittery sparkles for this look, but I do have the Cover Effects glitter drops. These look like amazing. I swear.
watched him and I was like, oh, wait a minute now, cover effects. Wait just a darn minute. Let's just have a moment. Just so okay, sis, I don't have that. What they do when you blend them out. Look at how stunning. It's like one of those wispy dual fiber brushes. But for the eye, I'm going to be dabbing that on sporadically throughout the eye. This just makes dealing with glitter so much more controllable. Now, let me I'm add a sparkle all the way with up. This. Like, it's the color crease. pop. So, yes, what what I just put in my tear duct. <laughs> No, before I get back to that though, lash glue takes forever to dry. So I'm gonna let my Eureka lash from Lily Lash dry first. Uh oh, put too much on, I'll take the shadow off. So let me go back in and fill that pocket in. Ooh, look at how sparkly my eyes are looking already. Ooh! My eyes look. definitely had sparkles and shimmers along that bottom lash line. So let's hit it. Hmm. Now we're going to, well, I'm giving you all of 80s. Like, I don't really know what the top She's is. done, guys. Half of my hair situation is She's good, done, and I'm on, I'm on one eye, and I didn't do the other eye. So I'm going to do the other eye and come back with lashes on and lips on. I'm so excited on my lip, you guys. No, she didn't do her lips yet. Okay, I'm going to come back with lashes on and try to sparkle up my eye. Okay, I'm going to come back with lashes on and try to sparkle up my eye somehow. Okay, I'm going to come back with lashes on and try to sparkle up my eye somehow. Stop, Jackie. Stop. I love you, but that is enough. So, um, I look like a clown. Let's just throw that out there right now. Don't even think, don't even think that I think I look good right now. I look like a clown. Like, I thought the lashes would, you know, make it a little better, but Auntie Jackie, if you see this, this is not what I do. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, it's not, this is not how I do things, okay? Uh, so I'm just gonna finish this video because ooh, it's really looking sad right now. It's really looking sad. Auntie Jackie looking cute. So I'm gonna take my Milani. What's this? This is a powder. It's their pressed powder in the color Earth Glow. I'm gonna be using it as a bronzer. Skin's looking wonderful. Just wonderful. Um, well, hello, I'm glad this is she's happy. This is a new launch from Becca. The color is Smoky Quartz. It's one of their newest shimmering skin perfectors. I don't want a ton of glow because I don't want anything taking away from the eyes today. And I wanted to test out if the Cover Effects drops can be used as highlight. I mean, I, I feel like that may be overdoing it a little bit because it is glitter. But, you know, I don't mind a little glitter. First, let's hit the center of that five head. Let's just draw more attention to the largest part of my face. Why not? Why not? Okay, I'm going to try a little bit of the glitter drops and the highlight. Wish me luck. I have no clue what to expect. Do I want to go where I normally go with it? Or do I want to just skyrocket and go way out? Like, it's between the Fenty don't, Gloss don't or the Anastasia Raisin Lip Gloss. Which don't is like skyrocket, nice Jackie. Color, kind of will pull together a more subtle version. Get the eyes, the star, you know, give them their moment. I'm going to first line my lips with Get Lucky from NARS. Hmm. Well, that was unfortunate. It's just going to be more me. If I stick with the Anastasia Raisin Gloss, I just want, I just want the focus to be on the eyes. Stunning color. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so, okay guys, so that's the final look. All right guys, so that is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this fun, colorful tutorial, because I know y'all like to drag beauty gurus for being too neutral all the time. Okay. Okay, I see you. Don't forget to check out the Olay Daily Facials. Once again, I will leave the info on where you can purchase them down below in the description box. If you are not a part of the Jack Anna family, don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me like that. Come on, fam. Like, I thought it was cool. So now you also know that since you made it to the end, you gotta check out the next tutorial. I mean, it's only right. I put it right here. I'm popping. My wigs are popping, okay? The Jackie Iron lifestyle is popping. Get with the program and watch the next tutorial. Not even gonna change my clothes, y'all. Not even gonna change my clothes. Not even gonna change my clothes. Well, the tutorial's over. Um, um, I mean, I'll take the robe off. You know that face you make when you're feeling yourself? That face is not coming out of me today. Wow, guys. I look like a clown. His eyeshadow is... 
terrible. Oh my gosh. The eyeshadow is terrible. I can't even take it. The lip gloss is weird. Um, yeah, Auntie Jackie, I don't even know if he put a blush on. I don't know. This was hard. This was way harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be fun and easy. I mean, I had a little fun, but I feel like I just stressed myself out trying to do this. Well, guys, um, I'm going to spare y'all the slow-mos because I'm not going to do slow-mos because, like, why? Why would I do slow-mos? For what? Uh, Jackie don't do slow-mos, so it doesn't even matter. Um, yeah. That's, that's it, y'all. That's all I got for you. Uh, I, I failed. I failed at this. And if she sees this, mama, auntie, I am so sorry. I am so sorry I failed you. You know, I feel like I just want to redo this look the way I want to do it. The, and fit it into the routine I usually use because this takes some real talent to be able to do your brows and your eyeshadow after foundation because I use my foundation and face to just cover up every mistake I made like oh wait but if you want to see better stuff that's not this face and more fun things subscribe comment give this video a thumbs up because i tried i tried and if you laughed give it a thumbs up and comment down below your favorite part of the video guys i love y'all bye